The first amniotes made a number of changes in their skull. So, there is another bony attachment for jaw muscles, the pterygoineus, which gives us a stronger bite. Our brain cases expand, and so our skull is different from that of the amphibians. Now, the first reptiles, like me, do not have an opening in the temporal region of the skull for jaw muscles, and so we are called anapsids. The anapsids are the first reptiles, and from us come two lineages which do possess such openings, the diapsids and the synapsids. Although the anapsids are the first reptiles, they all become extinct at some point, except for the turtles. The turtles are the only group of anapsid reptiles which survive till today. For a while, the only reptiles on planet Earth were anapsid reptiles like me. And the anapsids diversified and spread throughout the planet. Easier in those days since the continents were joined by the Permian period. Many of us died in the extinction at the end of the Permian, but some groups survived into the Triassic period. At first, all anapsids were small insect eaters, but they diversified. For example, my group began as small insect eaters, but by the Triassic, some had adapted to eating plants. Walking on my hind legs, walking on my hind legs, walking on my hind legs, walking on my hind legs. I'm Udi Balmas, and I'm the first reptile which can walk on its hind legs here in the early Permian. There are three things you have to know about the Pereosaurs. First, we eat plants. Yes, in the Permian, reptiles made a discovery that all this green stuff around us, it turns out you can eat that stuff. Reptiles prior had just eaten the bugs and maybe some fish or even amphibians. But now, we can eat the plants. The world is full of so much green stuff. So, we can make a living as herbivores. No land vertebrates had tried this before the reptiles of the Permian. Second thing about us is, if you're going to eat plants, you can get to be big. So, these plants can support larger body sizes, plus just having more intestines helps you digest the plants. So, I approach three meters in length, nine feet. So, this is so much bigger than most of the reptiles which came before. And so, we plant-eating reptiles are reaching new sizes never before seen in the land vertebrates. Third thing about the Pereosaurs is we are putting bones in our skin known as osteoderms. And since we are anapsids with osteoderms in our skin, many have linked us to the turtles, which will come later, who use osteoderms in their skin to compose part of the shell.